Our next example, example two. Shapeville High School has a running track behind the school. If Kiera wants to run two kilometers every day around the track, how many laps around the track will she have to run? Round your answer to one decimal place and just remember that one kilometer is equal to a thousand meters. So how will we go about solving this? Once again, pause it and then compare it with my answer. But one first, well, one thing that we need to do first is it says here that if she she wants to run two kilometers every day now how many meters is two kilometers well here's the hint two kilometers will be two thousand meters so we want to we want to know how many laps does she need to go around the running track in order to complete or at least get close to two um two kilometers or two thousand meters so first we need to find the perimeter of this. So now we can see there are two shapes here. What are these two shapes? Well, one is the rectangle, right? The rectangle, which is right here in the middle. And then these two other sides are both semicircles. If we put them together, we get a complete circle. So really to find out the length of this running track, we need to add 60 plus another 60 meters here, right? Plus the length of these two now we know that if we add these two let me just graph them although i think it's pretty obvious although i think it's pretty obvious okay that's kind of a bad depiction of it but i think it's pretty obvious if you put them together you get a circumference a circumference you get a circle pardon you get a circle let's just erase the stuff in the middle okay so So let's do that now. What's the area for the circumference of a circle? Well, c equals 2 pi r. So, so far we have these two lengths, which is 120 meters. Now, how long is this and this together? Well, let's find out. But for that, we need to find out the radius too. Actually, we don't really need to find the radius, but let's just do it as an example. So if from there to there is 30, then between there and there would be... 15 meters right and in fact you know I'm just putting this as an exercise sometimes you may get so used to find the circumference by using the radius you can also find it by using the diameter so that means that the formula for the circumference would be 2 pi r or also which is the same as saying pi times d because 2 times r gives you the diameter all right so let's let's actually use the diameter this time c equals pi times d and we know that the diameter is equal to 30 pi and 30 times pi gives us what? What does 30 times pi give us? So we put it in our calculator and we get and we get 94.2 to I say 0 0.3 let's round it off to one decimal place since that's what they asked right so that means that this length right here that I'm tracing this entire length would be 94.3 so now let's find out uh, the length of one lap so the perimeter of this running track is equal to 60 plus 60 plus 94.3 that gives us a hundred and sorry 60 plus 60 is 120 120 plus 90 that gives us 210 214 214.3 meters that will be one lap now how do we find out um, the number of laps that um, she needs to run around the running track in order to complete uh, two th uh, two thousand meters or two kilometers. Well, what we need to do is to divide two thousand meters divided by two hundred fourteen point three meters, which is one lap. What is that equal to? Well, you put it in your calculator, and in fact, I hadn't had much of a chance to do this, and we're getting nine point thirty three. So. 9.33 um, 9.333 laps 
So in other words, sh therefore she needs to run at least 9.33 laps to complete 2 kilometers.